you know you're watching Prop Maker. This is the channel that helps you make stuff, restore stuff, and repair stuff. And today we've got some exciting news. It's not actually a repair video, it's not even a restoration video or anything. It's just a little bit of news from Prop Maker Front, and that is to do with one of these. Roll the thing. <laughs> The big news, uh, it's not really that big for anybody else apart from me. Um, yeah, you know that I've been working on the Jungle Lord, you know that I've been actually working on the Time Warp, which is still, you know, if you have a, actually a look over here, we've got uh, the, the play field. Um, it's all sort of masked up and ready to actually go in regards to clear coating. So, um, yeah, these are the two machines that I've been working on. And today I've got a little bit more news because today I added to the family fishtails. So if we have a look at our secrets is we got Time Warp, that's from 1979. We've got Jungle Lord from 1981. And now we have fishtails from 1992. All these machines are from Williams and this is going to be the new addition to our family. As you can see, we've got some lights going. It looks pretty tidy. It's got the fish on the top, it's all good, but um, there's a bunch of things still wrong with this. It's still not actually playable yet. You can see that there's a nice message on the screen saying that I should look at my fuses. Um, we did get this out of the car and try and get it running very quickly just to see whether we can do something for this video. And no, um, there's actually some a bit of diagnosis work we need to do on the power of this. So we're not um, actually getting any 12 volt to our switch matrix. So that's sort of hampering even playing it. But you can see that it actually looks pretty cool. There's lots of like uh, trails and reels, and the fishing line up here. It's a great looking game. And looking at other people playing it up online, it actually looks a load of fun. I actually got to play Rusty's at, out at Sapper uh, a, a week or so ago and loved it. That's what pushed me over the edge to pull the trigger and buy this one. So also want to shout out to my harp player extraordinaire from my band, Adam. Uh, Adam is basically, his mate basically owned this and it's been stored in a shed for about uh, 11 years not working as far as I know. They had a bit of diagnosis back then to try and get it going. Um, but uh, to no avail, when I did open it up, there were a couple of fuses missing. Um, we couldn't even find the keys. I had to drill the lock to actually get that out already. I've actually fixed the lock already. That's The locks are actually back in place. Um, and we have found the key to the top back box lock already. So that's all A-OK. -okay. Um, there are, yeah, as I said, issues and we'll go through that with a proper diagnosis video like I did for Time Warp um, uh, back when I first got Time Warp. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe if you like these videos and that's it from me. You've been watching Prop Maker. Roll the thing.